Hey guys, Sudarshan here. Welcome back to Data Science Basics. This is the 17th video in the 30 days of Databricks series. If you want to watch other videos, the link will be in the description. Feel free to watch the earlier videos. One of the viewer asked me to create the data transformation video. Here you go. I am going to go through the data transformation in Databricks and that is the reason I asked you also in many videos. If you have something, please let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to cover those in my upcoming videos. What I'm going to go through here is first I will show you the basic data transformation steps using PySpa. I will show you how you can create the calculated field, inner join, left join, join, and then how you can do the same thing using SQL also and then using pandas also this is the good part of uh, databricks because in the same notebook you can run different languages like as it is mentioned here also you can use sql python scala and r and this is good place to learn also different things and yeah that's what i am going to go through and this is the last video before i upgrade the free version now we are using the community edition i have created 17 videos in the community edition but from next video, I will show you first how you can upgrade to the free trial of 14 days. And then I will show you all the advanced functionality of Databricks. Stay tuned for that. Now let's go through the data transformation stops. As I said, we are using PySpark because it performs the operations of data frames in a distributed fashion. And there might be some time where you need to use PySpark or Pandas is also good. So I'm going to show you all the different things. You can read this in your free time i will provide the notebook in the description you can run this notebook by yourself first what you need is data in order to work so what i am doing here is just creating the random data frames because i am going to show you the data transformations meaning that at least if we have two data sets then it's easier i am creating here df1 and df2 just passing some random stops here i have in one df1 i have id name and score one and in the next one, I have ID score 2 and CT. It's already been created. It took 5.80 seconds. And now I can just display that DF1. As you can see here, ID, name and score 1. And if I want to know what is the mean and max things, you can just provide this random stuff here. So it will say what is the minimum and the maximum. So 1 and 100,000, meaning that we have 100,000 rows here. Display is df2 if you can just go and see what is in df2 as i said before id is core to ct when you do some kind of data transformation stops if you are working with two tables at least there should be at least one column in common so that you can use some data transformations into that two uh, tables or data frame hence there is id numbers and then also there is id numbers so we are going to utilize that id in order to do the data transformation stops as i said you here we'll create a calculated field first for that what we need to do is just import call from sql functions and what i am doing here is df1 dot width column to create a new column score one double and what i'm doing here is i'm taking the score one column and multiplying that by two that's nothing that's simple if you want if you know what you are doing then it's not that hard now it's already there and if i go and display df1 there should be one extra column being created score one double which is two times the score one so yeah that's how you can create a new calculated field you can utilize your own logic in order to create the new calculated field based on your use cases now let's go and see how you can do the inner join so inner join is just df1 dot join df2 meaning that i want to join df2 in df1 and i am providing here on id and how i want to do is the inner join this is the thing that you can use in PySpark. If I run this, there is the inner join D of being created. Now, inner join D of is being created with the inner join. As you can see here, there are more columns which are also taken from the DF2. In DF1, we had name score one, score one double. But if you see here, there is CT also and there is name also, meaning that we get that from the DF2. And we did the inner join. Similarly, you can do the left join with just the same kind of syntax, but here you can provide left. You need to know why you are doing this 
based on the, your use cases but i am just showing you this is how you can do so yeah now let's go and do the join same thing here there is nothing that i need to explain but this is how you can do df1 dot join df2 and then you can the main thing here is you need to have at least one column in common and then you can do the join what if now i want to do that with the sql not all of us are familiar with PySpark or pandas or whatever you want some of we must be comfortable using sql so that is the good part of databricks that you can quickly transform the PySpark data frame into sql table and then start working on that here what i am doing is i am first creating df1 and df2 which we created in the beginning also and here what i am doing is df1 dot create or replace temp view table one i have already shown this in my previous videos so this is how you can convert PySpark data frame into temporary view and i'm creating table one and table two as a temporary view now we can just use our logics whatever we want to do so here is the same thing that i did calculating the new field that is score one double and i'm just saying select all score one times two as score one double from table one this is kind of as we speak as i said you before in my earlier videos also sql is easy if you understand what you are doing because the syntax is how we speak also so natural language kind of things let's say that we want to do the inner join inner join table one and table two on id column as i said you before also so you can just run this and we have the new table being created and yeah that is the same things similarly you can do this i'm just showing you in different things and i'm not i'm not explaining you too much here because the main idea here is to show how to do the same thing in different ways right now let's say that we want to do the join also okay that is right join but one extra thing what i want to show you in sql is okay let's first select all from table two what we have in table two we have id score two and cd I showed you inner join, left join, right join kind of things. But what if you want to do the group by? This is the simplest thing that you can do. Select city and then I want to do the average of score 2 as and I want to give the name average score 2 from table to group by city. So this I don't know what else I need to explain here because the syntax is self-explanatory that okay I want to select these two columns from table and group by city if I run this then it is going to provide me the answer okay there is city and there is average score 2 and that is grouped by based on the city by the way if you are new to sql and if you are saying okay if you still are confused what is happening here i highly recommend you to watch this sql joins tutorial for beginners from take tfq this is one of the best youtube video i have watched in sql related stops sql queries using joins i highly recommend to watch this i will put the link in the description of the video thank you take tfq he explains really really well the sql stops we need to appreciate the creators who create good content thank you tech tfq again now let's continue our tutorial here okay as i said you before also you can just go and randomly run things i'm just running and you are watching me running because there isn't anything that i need to explain here because i'm just selecting all score one per score two and i'm giving the new column name from this and in or join this so there isn't th that many things that i need to explain you because it's kind of self-explanatory okay now that's great but one thing i showed you before also but when you run the sql things in databricks the data frame is also being created if you want to just view the last data frame you can just display this as a underscore sql df because here it is being created but one thing you need to notice each time you run the sql cell the new one is created so it is overwritten in the previous one remember that and yeah now we have the display underscore sql df that is pi spark and if you want to change that to pandas or convert that to pandas then you can just use that to pandas and then you can run the uh, pandas command as, as you want let's say that i want to run the describe yeah here is just the describe and after running the previous shell okay 
character is the described thing using the pandas that's what you can do and let's say that we want to do the same thing in pandas also let me go here so i'm creating the same thing and there is df1 and df2 i'm displaying df1 i'm displaying df2 inner join there is little bit syntax different here pd dot merge first what we did in this PySpark is df1 dot join and then we provide the name on id how inner but in pandas there are many ways but what i did here is pd dot merge df1 df2 on and how this is how you can do we can run this we can display and there is df1 double that we create a calculated field and there is inner join there is left join there is a join there is another calculated fields being created so i don't want to go through this but this notebook will be provided you can just go here run by yourself get the idea if you are confused ask in the comment section what things you are confused or go to your best friend some of the chat uis ask provide the code and help it to explain step by step one thing what i want to show you is let's say that you are confused with some of the syntax here let me go up in the sql things and let me say that you are confused with the group by this one what i can do is just copy this go to chat uis and what i can do is here okay explain me this code step by step and shift enter just paste it there but one thing you need to be careful is don't paste the things that is confidential but this is not confidential as you can see here it says certainly this provided sql code okay it even provided the answer for you it says here first we are selecting this and then from table group by city and it also provided something here okay ct score 2 and the query will group the data and it is shown here this is quite explanatory also now that okay there is two new work and new work there is boston and boston there is chicago we, if we group by then only three of the rows are being created as you can see here there is new work boston chicago and it adds these two so we are doing average meaning that it adds this 80 plus 85 and it does the average divide by 2 and the answer is 82.5 this is how you can take the help of chat uis also in order to know what is happening behind the scene or how different things work we are living in the world of ai and it would be foolish not to use the tools that is being provided for us to learn new stuffs but one thing is don't completely rely on this so that you don't gain knowledge but taking help to enhance your knowledge is always a great idea okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one